Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a crystal rabbit Swarovski type. We begin by sketching the outline. For this I hold the pencil in a way that allows me to do loose strokes all the way from the shoulder with all the arm. Like this. The head is a little bit bigger than the one I had drawn so I correct it. The eyes, the nose. And now I hold the pencil from a position where I have more control to start doing the detail. I shorten the body as it was too long. The feet, the ears, and we go over the lines that we just drew and we keep correcting as needed. For example here as the rabbit looks too fat. The shadow will be down here. And then I lighten some of the lines with the kneaded eraser so that they are not in my way. It's time to begin doing some of the cuts of the crystal. Good! With a black marker we fill in the eye and the nose, leaving one or two reflections. With light grays of different hues we give some color. And with a white dry pastel the brightest lights. We fill in the squares and geometrical figures with grays of different tones, either in marker or pencil. Some may be greenish or bluish grays to enrich the drawing. I like it how it is looking. This is really fun. I love drawing so much. In its hands or paws, we'll have some red flowers. We do the shadows with dark blue and the lights with pink or orange. Good! We can do the main shadow with a graphite pencil. And I will smudge it with a gamois, leaving a lighter area in the middle. Good! With a white pencil we do the reflections. And we may add some blue or orange or other tones. I do a horizontal line that will be the border of the table with a ruler because otherwise I won't tell you how crooked it's going to end up. The border of a table and also of a surface where it is standing, like a piece of paper or something like that. Now with a brown marker and a ruler or a square, we achieve the wooden texture by doing lines. And we give it a second pass freehand to even it out. Good! With a dark grey we go over some borders, to have the figure stand out more. With an oil pastel we can give it some final white reflections. Very good! We do the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to find our tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.